doing, my mums? We're doing core today. So let's pop onto our sit bones and then let's just warm up the core and pelvic floor. So first think about inhaling, relaxing the belly, exhaling, lifting through the pelvic floor, drawing the belly in, inhale, let it go. Exhaling. Exhale is when you want to engage. You want to think about lifting those muscles. Inhale, one last breath. Exhaling, lift through the pelvic floor, draw the belly in. Okay, we're going to start off today with a bit of an isolation hold. So the first minute, we're going to be holding in 20 second intervals. So what that looks like is we're going to tuck through the pelvis, lift the pelvic floor. You come back as far as you can comfortably. Well, a little bit of discomfort and that you want to be holding as far as you can. So if you're a little bit further along, you have a strong core, it might be here. You might be a little bit further up. Okay. And we're going for 20 second intervals, three 20 second intervals to make a minute. If you are there and you're like, I'm not going to make 20 seconds, you come up, you come back. So as far as you can go, you come up, you come back, or you try and hold for two seconds and then come back. You, you basically choose how long you can hold for, come back up, reset, reset your mind, reset your pelvic floor and core so that we're getting a minute's work in. Are you ready? Off we go. Tuck and round, holding, feeling really strong through the pelvic floor, coming back up, exhale, sitting back. So what we're focusing on is training the sit back so that, oh, that was a 10 second interval. How silly. Okay, keep going. 10 more seconds. I was like, oh, that felt so easy. Um, sorry, three, two, one, coming back forwards. And then exhale, going back, holding for 20 seconds. And so what we're training is we're training the sit back. We're training those muscles so that then we can start working on sitting up. So we're training our core from back to front. Three, two, one, coming back up. We're going to do one last one because I messed up. Good. Exhale, tuck and round. Thinking about lifting through the pelvic floor. If you feel pain in your back, come up a little bit further. If you feel like it's really easy, go a little bit further back. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good. All right, on to our side. We're going to be doing our side plank with our hip lift. So you have two options. You can be on your knees like we were on day one, lifting up and then just coming back down. Or you can practice being one leg is bent, one is out to the side. Are you ready? We're going to do one minute of work. Off we go. So we're going to lift up. We're going to control back down, staying lifted through here. Exhale controlling back down. Exhale. And when we're doing that exhale, we're thinking about lifting all of the muscles towards the spine, lifting through the side of the body. Exhale, coming back down. Exhale, coming back down. Really nice and controlled. So this is a hip lift. We're going to add on to it each round. And then whilst you're doing it, you want to feel like your obliques are working. Your shoulder is working 20 more seconds. Your bum is working. Core, mental fitness. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. Try and get three good reps in. Three. Beautiful stuff. Two. Exhale. And then one. Beautiful. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go on to all fours. And then we'll do the other side for our side plank. Alrighty. So if wrists are an issue, you are going to come up onto like your sofa or something like that, be in the plank position. You're going to tuck the belly in. You're going to lift up. We're going to be lifting one leg and then the other leg. Okay. If wrists aren't an issue, we're here. We're relaxing the belly. Exhaling, drawing the belly in, lifting through the pelvic floor pushing through the shoulders, holding that belly in, lifting the knees up. And then we're trying to lift one leg for a few seconds. And then controlling, stay with the knees lifted if you can, lift the other leg for a few seconds. If you haven't joined in, join in. Coming back, 
Exhale if you need to. Re-engage those muscles, lift the leg up. And then coming back. And I like to use my wrists as sort of like my guide. Swapping legs, controlling back down. Exhale, lift the knees off the floor. Lifting one leg. And I like to imagine that I'm pushing everything else into the floor. So my knees should line up with my wrists, swapping legs. And then I'm pushing everything else. So I'm pushing with my hands, pushing with my foot, really stabilizing, and then control, coming back down. Woo, good stuff. Okay, turning onto your left side or the other side. And we're going to do those hip lifts. Ready? Three, two. One, off we go, extending up, strong through that side, exhale, good stuff. So with this hand, you can do whatever you want. You can do a nice like extension and a lift. I just, I'm gonna do nothing. I'm just gonna put my hand on my hip. Exhale, thinking about these nice long hip lifts, drawing the belly in, feeling live, and hopefully a little bit of heat is starting to form in the body. Brilliant stuff, we've got 20 seconds left. You are doing a good job. And I hope, I, I hope you're saying nice things to yourself too. Good, let's see if we can get three more really solid reps in. So as strong as you can, and then as much control as possible, stay lifted through the side. Two, and one good stuff so going back to our sit back but this time with our bent knees what we're going to try and do is a little bit of an extension at the end so i'm going to sit back i'm going to extend my leg out i'm going to bring it back down extend my leg up and out bring it back down controlling back up exhale as far back as you can go controlling as much as possible controlling as much as possible Good. So what I don't want to see is that your knees come together. Keep going. Come with me if you haven't already. Good. And then back up. A little bit of shaking is fine. But if you have absolutely no control, I want you to back off. Maybe even grab the back of the leg so you can really round through the spine, connect to that lower core, and then assist the legs to come back up. But really thinking about drawing that belly in. So much postpartum is like rebuilding connections that you haven't had for a while. Exhale. Lift and lift. We've got 20 seconds left. You're doing a really good job. Exhale. And then if at any point you can feel like you're doing the hardest version first and then bring it back down to the easier versions because we've just got a short amount of time that we're working out together. So I'd rather you push yourself a bit more, let form break down a little. Last one on either side. And then brilliant stuff. Okay, coming back to our side plank, go on that right arm again, or whichever one you did the first time. Pushing my hip back and lifting up. Now this time, we're gonna stay lifted. We're just gonna lift this top leg and control back down. Off we go, top leg and so, when we're doing this, I don't want you just flailing the leg back and forth. I want you to try and feel where you are in space and time. So your elbow and knee should be in the same line. Your hip, that bottom hip should be in the same line. And then that top toe is trying to line up with the knee. Trying to stay lifted. Good, you're doing a really good job. Let's go for eight more. Really nice control toe touches. You might feel the inner thigh, you might feel the bum. Really push through that bottom shoulder. Last three, two, good stuff, rest. I didn't do one, did I? <laughs> it's okay. We're going back to that plank position hover. So you can do your knee hovers, or we, can, we are now going to go to the full plank position, forearm plank position. When people do forearm plank, they tend to go a little bit too wide. Just line yourself up like this. So if you make this shape with your hands, like that, and then your hands just go there, and then you know that your elbows are right underneath the shoulders. From here, one leg is bent, one leg is straight. Inhale, relax your tummy. 
Exhale, engage the tummy. Press. And then from here, let's see. Can you lift one leg? Control. Can you lift the other leg? Lots of control. Bring the knees back down if you need to or continue holding. Exhale. Control. Exhale. Lift the leg. Good. Exhale. See if you can press those shoulders over the elbows. Little bit more. Really working your core. Last one either side. Brilliant stuff. Okay. On to your left side. Back leg bends behind you. We're extending up. Exhale. Okay. Toe pointed, touching the floor, strong through the shoulder. You can also go forearm, whatever feels best for you. Exhale. Push the hips forwards a little. Squeeze the bum. Stay lifted. I'm sweating. <laughs> I hope you're sweating too. Good. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Rest. Alrighty. We've got one last set. This time we're going to try the full sit back. We're going to do a little thing call, that I call the cross. Right leg is bent. My left leg is straight. I'm going to come down. I'm going to hold the back of this if you're feeling a little bit... Um, Weak, <laughs> weaker, or just come down, full sit back, whichever. Coming up, my left hand is on the floor. Exhale. Keep my left on the floor. Touch. Alrighty, swapping sides. Left leg is bent. Exhale. Coming up, press into the right hand. Keep the left leg bent. Good. Right hand lifts up. We'll touch the left foot, swapping sides, right leg. Coming down, exhale, lift up, good. So when we're doing this, I'm holding on to the bent leg to help me because I can't do the sit up unassisted. Inhale, exhale, coming down. So that's there to help me. It's there to help shorten the distance in the core as well. Exhale, I'm gonna press down with my right hand. I'm going to push into the right hand, lift my bum off the floor, try and touch my foot, swap sides. Hold the right leg, exhale, coming down. Exhale. Left hand is on the floor. Bring the knee with you. It's going to help you come back up. Exhale. Press into this left hand, touch the left foot. Swapping sides, hugging that left knee. Exhale. Curl the spine down. Curl, 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 curl. It comes with you. It helps you out. We're going to lift up going to help you come up. Press into your right hand. Press and then lift. Try and touch the foot. Swapping sides. Hugging the right knee. Left hand is on the floor. Exhale. Bring the right knee with you. Exhale. Lift up. Swap. Okay. One more on either side. Hug the left knee. Exhale. Tuck and curl. Right hand on the floor. Lift up press right side swapping legs hugging the right knee left hand is on the floor exhale tuck and curl tuck and curl tuck and curl tuck and curl bring it back up exhale press into the left hand touch the left wunderbar well done we're going to come onto the right side i'm going to bend that bottom leg from there i'm going to lift up and then we're going to extend that foot up we're going to draw it out towards the shoulder. The elbow is going to extend. I'm going to crunch out, not in. Okay. We're crunching out. We extend out. Hip comes down. Press back up. Exhale. Extend. Hip comes down. Stay lifted through the side of the body. Coming down. Booty touch. Exhale. Lift up. Crunching the side of the body. Down. Back up. Extend, down, back up. So let's do three more. Down, back up, down, back up. Last one, back up. Beautiful stuff. Okay, going into high plank position. 
if it feels good for you. High plank position, fingertips spread, extending shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, draw the belly in, extend legs out. We're gonna kick a foot. Gonna kick one leg up, control, kick the other leg up. You can reset if you need to, or you just keep the hips up. Ready, off we go. Exhale. When I'm doing this, I feel like I'm flexing the foot, trying to keep my hips low, trying not to kick too high so that I break at the lower back. So we're just feeling it in the glute. One more other side. Good stuff. Left side, bottom leg bent behind us. Top leg extends out. Alrighty, we're gonna lift up. Right arm extends. We're gonna crunchy crunch, extend, go back down. Exhale, two. Crunchy crunch, extend, back down. Three. Down, extend, four. Down, extend, five. Down, up, six. Down, back up, seven. Control, up, eight. Two more. Exhale. Final one. And rest.